Good evening, guys. My name is Haro. Tonight I am here at Palm Beach. We are just in front of the Rio Palace Resort. And I'm going to take the road on this side, so heading uh, to the Holiday Inn Resort. Just in, in the middle, you'll find the South Beach complex and such. We're going to take that road. It's closed right now, so if you're watching this video in the future, maybe there'll be a new roundabout in that area. But in any case, you could follow that road and you will find the different food trucks. There, there are some really, really interesting ones and uh, I do want you to stick around till the end and tell me which one was your favorite. Let's go, guys. So tonight we are joined again by Marlene and we are going to, you know, like check out the food trucks and she's going to be like the judge number two of the food. And uh, so you don't only hear it from me. Now, right now, it's getting a little bit late here in the Palm Beach area. So a lot of things are closing down. Now the nightclubs and stuff are still open, bars and such. But as far as food, uh, if you are hungry a little bit late, these food trucks are the, you know, a great option that you can go for. And normally you can even walk to them from your hotel. Most of the food trucks in Aruba are mostly operating uh, like at late hours. So at the, in the evening in any case, but also up to like 2, 3 a.m. sometimes. And so that's something you should keep in mind. Uh, if you are hungry late, those are also great uh, places you can go. So we're gonna take a look first at the menu. I think I'm gonna go for the tenderloin for a sandwich. And from the experience, I'm also going to take the Korean chicken tacos. They are very, very good. One Korean chicken taco and one tenderloin uh, sandwich, the lomita sandwich. <laughs> That's all? Yes. I love this food truck, by the way, I've been here a few times and this one is also in, in my Curacao series, actually the sister company in Curacao and the total value, so the Korean chicken tacos are 21 florins and the Lumito, as you saw, is 19 florins. <laughs> One of the things I wanted to show you guys that I really, really like about this food truck is that they have different kind of sauces. So they have the pinda sauce, the peanut sauce. They have like garlic, salsa rosada, ketchup, mayonnaise. Uh, they have pico de gallo, chimichurri, pica. So they also have over here more of the pinda sauce, lemon, garlic, chipotle, chili, uh, curry. So that is like their strong thing apart from just great food. And in case you're wondering where this one is, it's situated at the Sitco station. All right, so it's next, right next to it. And it's a beautiful food truck. It has the Fofoti trees on it, as you can see. It's a very, very nice looking food truck. I dare say it might be one of the most beautiful ones on the island for sure. Ah, okay, see. Well, yeah. So this is the Korean tacos. You cannot even see them over here. There are three of them, four of them in this, and it does come with the French fries. And apart from that, it's 21 florins. So that's give and take like 12 or 13 dollars for this one. I think it's a pretty good deal. And now I'm thinking like I should put some sauce, maybe not on tacos exactly, but because they, they do have their own, uh, you know, like special sauces and things like that. But I'm looking for one to check out here. And I do love my peanut sauce. So I'm gonna put a little bit on this side. How about some curry sauce for your fries? Why not? Let's try it out. And what else? Some lemon garlic here in the middle. Just to make things a little bit more interesting, right? Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. 
So this one is the Lumito sandwich, one of my favorites. We're gonna put some sauce here on top of it also. So I'm thinking, uh, let's see. I'm not much into like, you know, hot sauces. So I'm gonna put like the garlic on one side. Let's hope there is still some left. <laughs> And uh, let's see if we can get something over here. Like, this is like a green sauce. I could not, almost not read it, but it does look interesting. Let's hope it is, it will be. It does have a very nice looking color. I'm gonna try this one out right now. Let's go. <laughs> As you guys can see, I am much, much taller than Marlene. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, I'm not tall at all. Um, we're just about the same height. <laughs> but I'm standing here just for the sake of it. Now we are going to try the Lomita sandwich. On this side we had the garlic. So actually, this side should be like yours. She wanted the garlic sauce and I wanted the green sauce. And yeah, go ahead for it first. Ladies first, of course. Don't be faking it. That is good. Should it should be, it should be. The Lomito is really good. good. Let's go for this other side. Mm. This green sauce is like a lemon based sauce, I think. I have never tasted this one actually. I don't think I have. The garlic is really good. So now this time I'm gonna go for the garlic and you're gonna go for this one. Alright. <laughs> it's different, it's very different. But the beef is really good, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's really good. So I'm gonna go for the, the classic garlic sauce. So maybe we'll be needing to put a little bit more garlic sauce on this side. I thought it was, it was good. We were careful with the sauce. We didn't want to put too much, but that's one of those things that you can put as much sauce as you'd like or none at all, of course, because they do give you the food without the sauce. And that's something I like here. Mm -hmm. Some food do taste a little bit just with their, their uh, original seasoning. So that's something I do like. We're going to go for the tacos next. This one will enjoy it later on. We are now going for, again, as I showed you guys, <laughs> the Korean tacos. Now you can't even see where they are in the box almost. But how about we go first for the french fries and try the different sauces. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go for this one was the... Oh, I forgot, but we'll have the name in it. Oh, of course, it was the curry. Mm. <laughs> Which one did you have? I have the yellow one too. The curry? Yeah. I liked it. I think it was very, very good. Highly recommend it. Never tasted really those. I curry. think this one is the garlic also. Let's go for, let's see. I'll go for this piece. And. Yeah. That one it's is good. good. And one of my like favorites here on the island, but it depends on where you're buying it from. They do a very good job of it. The peanut sauce, the pinda sauce, like we call it here on the islands. Very, very good. So how are we gonna get the tacos out of here without making a mess? <laughs> Let's try for this one. I think you should get yours first. Over there. And you go ahead for your bite first. Any comments? It's good. It's really good. <laughs> I'm gonna go for mine now. Wow, it's... Wow. Mine is bigger or something. <laughs> I don't know. 
Well, let's go for this one. Mm. Come on. It's very good. This one? Yeah, it's it's incredibly good. Hmm. What does it have? Like pieces of sort of coal. Um, coal, yeah. And like cabbage and things like that. I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think. And the in you know like the thing is like chicken, I do believe, and it's got a great great sauce <laughs> it is the best highly recommended we'll finish these and it's a lot we'll head on to the next one So guys, we are now at our second food truck. I love this one, the Chalo Burger. Let's check it out. It's a Colombian place. Mi paraya es un pizza mi última, colombiano. This is a huge hamburger. That is amazing. So first of all, what do you think about this burger? Do you get any of these types of burgers back home in the Netherlands? Like Never this? Never seen <laughs> this big. Look at how big it is, it's really big. We did get it cut into half so we can both try it. Uh, but I can definitely like check it out briefly. Some cheese, I believe some eggs, great sauce. They have like uh, small pieces of potato chips and just a huge, huge burger. She's gonna eat, be eating half, I'll be eating half of it. And we'll go for the first bite right now. It's a mess already. It is. A mess already, as you mentioned. <laughs> Look at all what's inside of this one. This is a burger. This is like two burgers. If you can eat this one alone, that would be like amazing. My mouth is like, let's go already. <laughs> one, two, two three. <laughs> Apart from making a mess, I think it's really good. It's got a whole bunch of things in it, like. It's good. Very fatty. I will, put, I will say that. But if you were a fan of burgers, this one is a must try. Yes, definitely. It's got onions. I keep seeing mushrooms, I think, over here, I a think. A lot of cheese. A lot of cheese. Hmm. <laughs> Did you like it? Really? Yeah. It's <laughs> super good. I'm pretty sure, though, that if you are, like, you're not a big eater, you don't like to eat um, a whole lot, this is definitely one that you need to order for sharing. Yeah. And in case you want to try it, and you're two or three persons, they can cut for you and share it between you all. This is the food truck, is, which is also like the closest to the hotel. This is the first time that, we'll, that you will actually get to uh, by walking. And it's uh, for those, uh, for reference, it's just across the uh, Picas Corner. Uh, restaurant and the Wacky Wahoo also uh, we're gonna finish this one and head to the next one wow. <laughs> <laughs>
So right now we are at the Mexicano food truck. We're going to try this one. This is the last food truck we'll uh, be filming at. And it's uh, been here in this area for a while. Let's wait for ordering our food. <laughs> So I ordered three more things to try and I think uh, this is definitely one of those trucks that's going to, uh, you know, wrap up this episode. But we're not ready yet, so stick around. So we just got the food. This is the burrito. We're going to try it. And it's a pretty nice size. Just a regular burrito. I'm gonna have, or should you? I have the first bite? You. <laughs> She's gonna have the first bite, so you can see it right here. First bite. And, is it good? Sure. Good. <laughs> That's very good. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Look at uh, what we got here. Let's have my bite now. Mm. What burritos? It's always like the middle part. Oh. <laughs> it's always like the middle part that has like the best in it. You can definitely taste the very fresh ingredients. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have yeah. another bite and then We'll have to, like, we, we'll go for the, the other items. So I'm, I am now opening the next one. Oh, that looks really good. I believe this one is the Azteca, which has, or at least supposed to have, uh, chicken, bacon, and mushroom i do believe so it's like a two like a tortilla if you don't mind i'll go first this yes. time mm. <laughs> a lot of cheese <laughs> mm. this is really good The taste of the cheese is amazing. And that was just with the cheese. We didn't even have the rest of it yet. Let's go for the rest of this one, a piece of chicken. <laughs> Look at all this cheese. Oh my. No, it's so hot <laughs> still. We just got it. And so I'm gonna go for this piece now, the bacon. Mm. This is definitely my favorite so far. Me too, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, super good. So if everything is right, this is the taco. There's a beef taco in this case. Yes, they are soft beef tacos. And there are Three, yeah? Three, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there are three tacos here. I'm gonna grab the one on this side. Oh, we're gonna make a mess again. <laughs> you grab the one on the left side. And I'm gonna go right away because I'm, I'm afraid this one is gonna fall. <laughs> A lot of tomato, beef, and a great, great sauce. Mm. Yeah. 
highly recommend it also. Mm -hmm. Highly, highly recommend it. <laughs> With this, we wrap up this episode. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, remember these places, we ordered a couple of things, but they have a list of things you can order. We went from to the, like we went to the most important um, items they have mostly, mm -hmm. but uh, you can, yeah, you can order a lot more things, especially uh, the, the first one, the Aruba Barbecue Express. They have a lot of the local type food. Uh, you can also pay uh, with debit, credit card, uh, at, I think at most of them, at this one certainly, and the Aruba Express, Barbecue Express, and I do believe also at the Chalo Burger. Mm -hmm. So if that is also convenient for you, take that into account. I hope you liked this episode. Subscribe, leave your comment below which one is your favorite, which one you would go for. Thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> and now I'm thinking like, maybe I should put... Mach nicht. <laughs>